In the last video we have seen SR flip-flop. In this video we are going to see practical on this. To do this we will use NAND gate IC. So this is the SR flip-flop as it needs NAND gate. So we will use NAND gate IC 7400 or 4011. It is TTL IC and it is CMOS IC. I have explained both of them, link in the description below. For this practical, we will use 7400. You can also use 4011. Now we have to see pin diagram of 7400. Its pin number 7 is ground and pin number 14 is plus 5 volt. And it has 4 NAND gates. And this is the pin diagram. Pin number 3, 6, 8 and 11 are the output and 1, 2, 4, 5, 9, 10, 12 and 13 are the input of the 4 NAND gate. Here is our SR flip-flop. It is gate 1, 2, 3 and 4. I will use here gate 1, 2, 3 and 4. So to make this circuit we have to follow the pin diagram. For gate 1, the output it is pin number 3, it will be 1 and 2, gate 2, 4, 5 and 6. 6 is the output and here it is 4 and 5. Pin 8 is the output. So here it is pin 8 and it is 9 and 10. Then pin 11 is output and 12 and 13 are the input. As you can see here. So this is how you have to connect the SR flip-flop for practical. Now we have to do a little bit thing to make it useful. We have to connect a switch with here. And the switch will be connected to pin 9. And other side of the switch will connect plus 5 volt. And we have to connect a pull down resistor with this. And I already explained why should we connect the pull down resistor with the input of this type of IC. Link in the description below. The value will be 10 kilo ohms. And here also we have to connect a switch and a pull down resistor. As this is also an input. So we have to connect a switch and we have to connect a pull down resistor. Now to see the input and output we will connect LED. So like this we have to connect with all the input and the output. So this is the circuit. Now with this we will verify the truth table of SR flip flop. In the last video we have already seen the truth table of SR flip-flop and we have discussed on this link in the description below. Now we have to verify this truth table. I see 7400. I am putting it here. According to the pin diagram, we have to connect pin number 7 to the ground and pin number 14 to the plus 5 volt. So here it is pin number 14 and pin number 7. Putting 3 input switches. One pin of the switch is connected to the plus 5 volt. With the other side of the switch, I will connect the LED and the resistor. I will use this switch for S, it is for R and it is for clock. These two are output LED and with the negative pin of the LED, I will connect 220 ohms and then it is connected to the ground. Pin number 3 and 6 are the output. 3 is Q, 6 is Q bar. Pin 3 is Q and pin 6 is Q bar. Pin 10 and 12 are connected together. Pin 10 and 12 are connected together. Pin 9, 10 or 12 and 13 are the input. Here it is pin number 9 with pin number 10 and with pin number 13. So these three are input. 
as this switch is S. So I'll connect this to pin number 9. Here it is pin number 9. Pin number 10 or 12 is used as clock pin. So the middle switch will be connected to pin number 10 and this is for R and it is connected to pin number 13. So input is connected and also the output. Now we have to connect the internal connection. Pin number 8 and 1 are connected. Pin number 11 and 5. Pin number 3 and 4. And pin number 2 and 6. So these all four connections we have to connect. Pin 1 and 8. Pin 11 and 5. Pin 3 and 4. And pin 2 and 6. So this is how we have completed our circuit. Now we have to connect both the negative rail and the positive rail. Connecting both the positive rail and the negative rail. Now we will verify the truth table of SR flip flop. Here this is the truth table of SR flip flop. Now I am connecting the 5 volt power supply. Here it is negative and the positive. Now Q is glowing and Q bar is turned off. Clock is 0. If clock is 0 then now it is in the memory state and if clock is 0 then the output will not change. Now clock is 1. So here you can see if clock is 1 S and R 0 0 it is in the memory state. S is 1 Q 1 and Q bar is 0. Clock 1 and if R is 1 now it is Q bar is 1 as you can see and Q is 0. If you want to see if if clock is 0 then if you change the input then the output will not change. As clock is 1 if I press here then it will be Q. Okay. Now we will see the fourth one. Clock 1, S1 and R1 and this is impossible because Q and Q bar is opposite to each other so it is impossible or invalid. Sometimes both the LED turned off and sometimes both the LED turned on. So this is how we have verified the truth table of SR flip-flop. So guys, this is all for today. Thanks for watching.